Hello YouTube, my little project of over uh, unlocking the Sempron to a Phenom 2 fail because, um, well, with unlocking a lot of the CPUs um, that are that have their cores disabled, uh, usually have or sometimes have their second core totally faulty, and you can't even unlock it. As soon as you unlock it, you can't boot anymore. And that's what happened with this, uh, I guess, either batch or individual unit, but this one could not be unlocked, unfortunately. Uh, even though I have a great cooler for the time being, it's an overkill. This is actually my 1090T cooler. I've replaced it with an Noctua. Um, I'll get into a comparison between the two someday. Um, but yeah uh, I've uh, put this on my Sempron overkill and uh, it's been running on max load for around 15 minutes no blue screens of death uh, I overclocked it from 2.7 gigahertz to 3.8 gigahertz quite amazing for a cheap CPU uh, and as you can see it's around 34 35 maximum the PK got uh, for the CPU, that's way, 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 way below what this uh, die can or chip can handle. But um, starts get somewhat starts get getting very unstable at four gigahertz. I'm not very sure if I'm gonna overclock it to four gigahertz. Maybe later for fun. Um, so yeah, the CPU is actually a good one as a budget CPU, and if you get lucky, you can actually unlock a second core and have whoa much more of the performance than what you would get with a single core as you can see some crazy FPS see over the Sempron which is overclocked right now to 3.82 I believe gigahertz um, 